Okay, so I had to make a quick stop for gas. I'm gonna make this really short because it's very cold outside, uh, but we're just about an hour and a half out of uh, the middle of nowhere, Ohio, which is where Edgewater Air Park is, which is where the uh, flight test headquarters is. So I'm uh, super excited to go out there. They invited me out to collab on a little video. I think it's gonna do really well. It's gonna be fun. I brought all of the toys, but I uh, just needed to get out of the car, move around, freeze my butt off for a second, and uh, check out this cool train on the way to flight test. We are now just shy of five hours of driving in with two stops, one for lunch, one for gas. I, I did pretty well for me, honestly. Like, I get pretty beat up from trying to drive. I get tired, I get tired fast. But uh, we're just about to roll up on Edgewater Air Park, which is Flight Test Headquarters. I think most people are gone for the night already, but we've got uh, Matt Nowalski, Nowalski uh, aka Sidewinder FPV, says he's still there hanging out. That's, uh, that's what's next on the plan. We're going to finish this drive and get into Edgewater and check it out. spot though. Hello? Oh, yeah. Is this the right spot? Brother, yes. Hey! How you doing? Man? Good, how are you? Good, Good to you. see you. Good to see you. Thanks for making the trip down. Yeah, hey, I wasn't sure if I was coming in the right door or not. You nailed it. You nailed it. Yeah. Sorry about the front being dark. We <laughs> no, just it's like all good. The darkness out there. Oh, There's you, Maddie. You've got all so, sorts of stuff. So, dude. Yeah. How's it going, man? I want to actually redo this whole corner. I'm sick of looking at that crap brown board. And <laughs> It's just chaos, you know? It's it's its own character. Though. Exactly, yeah. dude. Exactly, right. dude. The only important part in this whole thing is that TV. That's the only thing people would get upset if we didn't have that TV. They'd be like, I think so. I miss a TV, I dude. So. Yeah. Obviously, play buttons. One oh, mil God. and a hundred thousand. The old OG one. And then this is where like the founder's wall is going to be. But right now, we call it the Hall of Giants. Because okay. obviously, P38 Giants. That's way bigger than I thought. <laughs> Here, can you hold that for a second? Yeah, dude. <laughs> I'm six foot three. This is taller than I am. That's gotta be awesome to yeah, watch him fly yeah. around. So those were fun. Those we actually raced. So yeah, I saw, that, have, I saw that video. But it, I, didn't get, I didn't get that sense of scale. Yeah, exactly. Until that. And I'm exactly. like, oh my gosh. So yeah, those two, then Cabby, we caught his face on fire. So he's faceless right now. That doesn't look as big as that either. Okay. <laughs> Dude. <laughs> what? Perfect, perfect drum gate right here too. Right? Your idea of flying through them, remember? I haven't. So oh. I think maybe if we convince Josh, maybe we can get this in the air one of these days. All we need is a face, dude. We just gotta replace this guy. This I'm, is... I'm always game. We could maybe even like have like a like a, a second version that we just kind of make mm, that removable. Yes, make this bigger. Exactly. And then it's the ultimate dive gate. Dude, it's sweet. I, yeah, Sp nerd, speak, speaking it, of Josh, yeah, we were talking about like how he brought up a good point when he saw the video. Of this, he's like, "Did you dive through here yet?" Because it's like a perfect Dude, gate for it's a drone. Because we did the sea duck, which was like made. This makes the sea duck look small. Yeah, the sea duck going this size. Exactly. And we totally well, should have done that. Yeah, okay. I, I watched the P thirty. I'm gonna watch everything that comes out now. But like, I watched the P thirty episode. I'm like, those don't look. They didn't look that bad on the video. And I stand next to them. Like, Oh my god. Yeah. Dude. And then the, this, like, even even more of the same with this. I wish the nose, well, the nose is outside, but when you put the nose up, it's like up there. Right. It's just ridiculous. <laughs> so then, this is our, like, this still has to get done. This is going to be our fab lab. So we got our laser in here, some 3D printers, uh, parts, servos, motors. So, so this is my humble abode. This is your office? Yeah. That's a pretty big office. This is my dude. office. I kind of suckered my way into it a little bit. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. So I wasn't going to have an office. I was going to be in the fab lab and this was just going to be storage. So Josh was nice enough to give me this office as my own. So. And it's amazing. Yeah, Look at that. Chance. Thanks, dude. Right there. Little racer three action with some yeah. So custom what I, I actually I did is that just a shell? Yeah, no. Uh, I put LEDs over it, like the ones you buy from Walmart, okay. and you could plug it in USB, yeah, yeah. so okay. it always runs USB. on USB. Yep. Yeah, I have 
I have mine, I cut the ESCs and took out like the VTX and stuff. Yeah. And then I just have a 12 volt power supply. Oh, that's sick. And you just wired right into it. Yeah. In. Yeah. Yeah. I got a two and a three. And as soon as I've retired all my fours, I'll have a four. I'm just trying to get a, figure out how to get a one. Jealous, dude. Jealous. Yeah. I want to yeah. get like all of them too. What do I do with my hands? What do I do with my hands? <laughs> Yeah, so I'm going to light it up right now. And let's okay. double check her. Fingers crossed. Ah, there you go! Yeah. She's cool. Yeah. So yeah, I'm about to fly this Millennium Falcon. I already test flew it before, but we switched it over to this beautiful, awesome, new body that Josh made look... I don't know, this is a 100% replica? No. <laughs> <laughs> But yeah, no, we're gonna test fly it, make sure it still flies before we do the final flight tomorrow. So. The final? Uh, you're, you're, final. Our, you're setting not yourself final. up for yeah, failure not here. Not final. The dude. one and only. Yeah, no, not final, dude. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so we're gonna test over it. It flew before, but we transferred all the electronics over to the final one, and uh, we just gotta make sure it flies again, and uh, it should. Let me ask you this, when you go level then, will it shoot? How was it was, yacht? like, I'm, here, I'll try it. Well, how was your yacht? Let's try it. Was it yacht? Yeah. <laughs> Chewy and I could put it into light speed with them. So beautiful. I think well, it's perfect. Chewy when he gets excited. Yeah. <laughs> this is what bugs me. This panel here and this panel here are dark gray. Oh, I never did. Any... Ah, that's okay. It's on the bottom. This panel here and this panel here are supposed to be dark. See the hatches? Oh yeah, the hatches. And this one right here, right? We're actually going to be here at Flight Test for a couple days, and if we're going to be here a couple days, we need an Airbnb. So we got this cool little place. It's like five minutes from Flight Test headquarters, and this is uh, this is where we're going to be staying for a couple days. So today is Wednesday. Tomorrow, Thursday, we're filming the Flight Test episode. Friday, we pretty much have no plans, so we're just going to have a fun figuring out what we're going to do with that time. And then on... Saturday, there's a tiny whip race. Jesse Perkins is going to come in town. He's actually the person that recommended this amazing place to stay. And uh, and then on Sunday, we're driving home. So uh, Winston is coming up. He'll be here in a couple minutes. And we're going to just be crashing here at this Airbnb. Got all sorts of goodies with a Pelican case. Everybody come put some stickers on it if you ever see me at a race or whatever. Got some quads, got some backup gear, camera gear, charging gear. Actually, most of the charging gear is already out. Got a DJI Ronin, we've got camera, there's another camera in there, there's quads there, more cameras, batteries, chargers, charging, beast class, flight bag. Everything is loaded for bear. We're not holding anything back this weekend, it's going to be really fun. This place has already turned into complete disaster zone, but uh, that's why we love it. So, see you tomorrow. Seven forty-five. Gotta pack up most of this stuff and get over to flight test before too long. So 
my favorite part about it, hanging around the flight test office so far has been the attention to detail. We're just watching Josh like spray paint the structure of the antenna like two minutes before we go fly it. Like that that's it's inspiring I'm really. Am I killing the magic? No, you're not killing the magic. In fact you're in enhancing it oh, because good. it's it's awesome to see like each how much work and dedication is put into each step along the way. So it's really exciting to do that. I'm not oh even, no! I'm not even looking. <laughs> okay, magic god, it's out. We're going home. Pack it up. Josh, I think that's gonna be fine. Okay. I think that's plenty. How are you feeling about flying this? Dude, I'm excited, man. A little nervous, but uh, that's what makes the flights fun when you're nervous. So, if I wasn't I, nervous. I know all about that. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I was gonna you. say, you, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Careful. Yeah, there's some expensive stuff right there. And there. Dude, it was flying great. I was excited, but then I, I dude, I don't yeah, know. Oh, I was yeah. like, oh, it's one of totally those episodes. Like it, flipped, <laughs> it is, yeah. yeah. It flipped upside down, and luckily, uh, um, luckily the free my freestyle came in clutch on that because I was like, oh, I'm upside down. Push forward. <laughs> it was it was fully upside down. I looked like I had just like turned away for a second. I looked back, and it was just like upside. Like I could see the bottom. Like, and you were only like. Feet off the ground, that was it. And I recovered like a foot away from the ground. I was just like, oh, I gotta get over there really quick. Yeah. This is gonna be a disaster. <laughs> I was like, I was like, Why gotta be able to orbit it. so quiet during this moment. <laughs> Falcon had a little bit of a spill earlier in the day, uh, so Matt's brought it back and repaired it. It's all back good as new. Uh, now we're gonna take it back out and get some more shots. We're trying to do some more proximity stuff. So like we're actually rendering the stuff on the TV right now, and it looks good. Uh, but the best looking stuff was when we we're flying super proximity, like right down tight in next to the. Um, like trees and right over the water and stuff like that so we're gonna try to get a bunch more of that footage because it just looks so good i'm going outside i'm i'm warm i'm warm in there you want people to fall almost took a little one after that oh man Well, so I was going for a shot. I was chasing the uh, the Falcon, and I wanted to go through the tunnel. Oh, man, that's rough, dude. That is rough. That's ice. <laughs> oh, 
Oh, yeah. Can you see it? Oh, you okay? Yep. Point. I am. <laughs> Sunglasses come off. Okay. So we got pushed downstream somewhere. <laughs> from here dude no way. okay Not even so we are uh still trying to get the squad back it's somewhere down there and before i drop this gopro in we got a big long pole i got some shovels i'm gonna try to redirect the water so that we can see a little bit deeper but it's you pretty it's you can't see anything right now dude it's it's like to my neck down there Oh no! That, that shovel's not gonna, I mean, it's got like a billion gallons a second happening right there. We gave it the old college try, but we're gonna have to just let it dry up out there a little bit. This we're what? We're letting it dry up? What uh, are we doing? I thought we were going back to try again. Are we? Oh, I thought we were giving up. But like no we're problem. losing sun, we could be filming. Instead we're just scraping at the bottom of a creek. I think we should just leave it. And whenever it dries up, grab it. Dang, it does that, makes, that makes me so sad. The problem though that is like, me so sad. we have that yeah. last flight is the thing. So at this point it's kind of finders keepers. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you're welcome to the quad. <laughs> but yeah, the only reason is like, I want that Hero 6 back. Yeah. Now, yeah. because if it stays in there for the winter, that it's not gonna be a good GoPro anymore. True. And I won't be able to use a warranty because there's no warranties for it. True. So I'm just kinda like, uh it's a it's a loss oh, if I leave it. Oh you got those. But I mean you guys think we can get it with these? Like I feel like guys let's put tools over here. That's wishful thinking. We're gonna fly the beast class now. I forgot to Super bind it after I updated my crossfire, so we're currently yeah. getting yeah. it up. And uh, then we're gonna go outside and it's like getting into that twilight hour. So we're gonna chase the Millennium Falcon with the giant crazy LEDs on the back. And that's gonna look freaking incredible. Yeah, yeah dude. from that camera. It's time. It's gonna be sick. Outside. Yeah, it should I'm, be fun. I'm super nervous about time. We gotta get out there. Cool, let's do it. All right. We'll save the test arms for outside. Ugh. I'm stoked to fly this. I, never, I don't get to fly very often, so. And this is gonna be the right use case for it because I can. It, it does way better in low light than the GoPro does. Oh my gosh! Look at the LEDs on the ground there. It's lighting up the snow. It looks so cool. Yeah, like 50, and then you go to 50. <laughs> only slightly terrifying. Uh, that one is only on. slightly terrifying. Look at that thing. Do you test arm it? Hold on. All right, I want to stand yeah. farther away from this when it takes off, dude. <laughs> no, Patrick. You're not scared. No, you're not Patrick. scared of the uh, the one you built. All right. <laughs> yep. You can go more, more. that would be good. I'm trying. Go more, 80%, Jesse. Ooh, you can hear it. Don't puff Ooh. that battery. <laughs> yeah. There you are rocking about 70, 80. Does it feel good? Yeah, how are we doing, Paul? Are that's you great, okay? That's great, that's great. Watch the timer. timer. Yep, watch yeah, the timer, whoever's got me. Well, what's it say now? 130. On Paul, or on Matt's? 130. We're going down the driveway? You're handling those turns, it just always looks like street behavior. Nice. Going straight down, I'm gonna try to stay low for you. Cool. Actually, if you stayed a little bit high on average on this okay. one, because my camera tilt is yep. a little higher. Oh, you're under it. Car coming, car coming. All right, we're gonna cut to the left. It's Robert. It's Above the surprise. trees. Yeah. You like this throttle still? Yes. 
We're gonna try to go. I'm gonna try to go through the pavilion. I don't know if you're gonna follow me, but I'm going oh. right down the middle. I mean, I'm less wide than you are. Okay. With these trees again? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, even live, it looks superimposed onto the screen. You know what right? I mean? Right? Yeah, yeah, I totally know what you mean. What's the time? Wow. 2.50. Alright, after this run past these trees, we'll go up the hill a little. Should we just gonna keep doing Jack Juke? Right, still rocking my solid 70, yep, yep, 67. Fine. And we're gonna come down through these main trees right here. Do a pass, oh. pass us, man. Oh. Fly past us. You oh, pushed sorry, me down. Dude, I'm so close. What? We're doing a pass past us? Yeah, fly past us, man. Dude, you were on it. <laughs> yeah, like right under it. Oh, you should see a line of sight, dude. <laughs> uh, no, I uh, yeah, so, I like, know, but I I can see like, like the individual LEDs on course. the back. <laughs> what? I'm joking. Why not? This is so close. <laughs> All right, we just got some, I think it's gonna be pretty sick footage with the uh, big rig with the black magic pocket cinema uh thanks to airviews for helping me build that because that, that thing is amazing so i can't wait to go look at that footage let's go check it out <sighs> so i'm just chilling in the flight test conference room to get away for a second and uh go through and continue rendering out some of the footage uh flight test is posting their video tomorrow so i need to get all of like the millennium falcon footage that we shot today all processed through real study and ready to go so i'm just constantly going through and making sure that everything's ready. I think I've got all the Millennium Falcon stuff done, so now this is, this is a plane that we were chasing and stuff like that. Um, got some cool stuff with the Night Radian. Um, one of the reasons that I love the, the big class, the X-Class quad, is that it has um, the, the Black Magic Pocket Cinema is a camera that's very good in low light. Um, not only do I have a, a really uh, low aperture number that's f2 on the, the lens that I use, but it also has a dual ISO function, so it doesn't have a lot of noise when you crank the ISO really high. So between those two things, I'm able to fly it with low light. And so I had Josh Bixler fly his night radian like 20 minutes after the sun went down and chase it around. Like it was the only thing that I could see in my FPV camera was the plane. Um, but then when you go back and you look at the footage on the pocket cinema, it looks awesome. Like it's just the whole, um, you know, all you can see is the horizon and some lights on the ground and then the, the night radiant, which is a big plane um, with LEDs built into it flying around and it looks really freaking cool.